Your skin is an incredibly important organ, serving as an interface between your body and the outside world. It prevents water loss, protects against invading pathogens, the bad guys in the environment, maintains structure, and so on. It also hosts a variety of different immune cells and can act as a complex immune organ. Your skin structure and function is absolutely essential to your overall health. The biology of your skin tells you a lot about how you should be treating it, including what type of cosmetic products you should be using and why they may work. This will be the focus of this video and hopefully by the end you'll come to a better understanding of the skin that you live in. Let's start with skin's basic structure. The skin is divided between the dermis, the epidermis, and the subcutaneous layer. But with respect to cosmetic products, we're really just concerned with the epidermis for the most part, with the very top layer being most relevant. This layer is called the stratum corneum. It forms our skin's waterproof outermost layer, and this is where cosmetic products are applied. This layer also serves as one of our body's first lines of defense against pathogens. Now, contrary to popular belief, this layer is damn near impermeable while intact. This is why the popular claim that 80 to 100% of cosmetic products penetrate the skin is not based on reality. This is also why claims that cosmetic products can affect things like metabolism, things like cellulite and collagen production are also untrue. On top of there being evidence that these claims are fake, there is also the small matter that they are illegal on cosmetic labels in most countries. If a product can affect your body in this way, it must be regulated as a drug and not a cosmetic product. The look and function of the top layer relies heavily on the integrity of the skin structure as a whole. For example, fats are released as skin is grown, they migrate up towards the top layer of the skin to form a fatty layer called the NMF or the natural moisturizing factor. This layer works with the stratum corneum to form a barrier to prevent water loss. This is important. Losing extra water through your skin is a factor for a lot of skin issues. Things like cleansing cosmetic products and frequent hot showers can wash this layer away, which isn't really good news for your skin health at the end of the day. Disrupt in this layer can ultimately leave you with flaky and dry skin, and this is where moisturizing products come in. They help to replenish the NMF. The NMF is also supporting a thin film called the acid mantle that lies on top of the skin. This film acts as another defense barrier, and as a result of it, the pH of the skin is actually slightly acidic, sitting somewhere between 4.5 to 6.5 depending on the region of the skin and the person. For cosmetic products, pH is important to ensure that the product is not going to be harsh on your skin. Cosmetic products aim to have a similar pH to healthy skin. Ultimately, disruptions between the acid mantle, NMF, and the stratum corneum are the crux of most skin issues. Acne, eczema, dry skin, you name it. An emerging area of research that plays a big role in the overall health of your skin is your skin microbiome, the bacterial colony that lives on the surface of your skin. This area can be heavily impacted by cosmetic products. However, this is beyond the scope of this video. If you're interested in learning more, stay tuned for next week's video. That about does it for this one though. Conclusion time. The integrity of your skin is important. When you choose cosmetic products or formulate them, working with your skin structure and not against it is key. Look for pH adjusted products, don't overwash, especially with antibacterial products, avoid very hot showers despite how luxurious they may feel, and be on the lookout for claims that seem too good to be true. What do you think? Any questions, queries, conundrums, concerns? Feel free to leave them below in the comment section or come follow us on social media at The EcoWell. I'm Jen and thanks for hanging out with us today.